Okay, here is the um, solution to the problem I talked about in class today. We have a plane that contains two points, uh, P and Q, and we're looking for its equation. We, we know it contains these points. That's not enough to determine it, but it's also perpendicular to this plane we have here, 2x minus 3y plus z equals 3. That plane has a normal vector n, which is 2i minus 3j plus k. So what we, we have that. Now that plane, that plane, k, okay, is this one right here. Uh, the plane whose equation we're looking for is right here, uh, containing, as I said, the points P and Q. Okay. Now notice uh, what what I've uh, what you can notice once I've drawn this is that since the vector n is normal to this other plane. That and the two planes are perpendicular, that the normal n can be arranged so as to be contained in this plane. So that means I actually have two vectors that are contained in this plane, p, q, right here, and n. So if I take p, q, cross n, that will be a vector that's normal to the plane whose equation I'm looking for. Uh, so we, we thereby we go through our procedure, go head minus tail, and figure out the equation, well, the, 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 the vector component form of PQ. And we carry out our cross product. Provided I've done that correctly, that's negative 5i minus 7j plus 11k. Uh, I'll just call that M to, to give it a name. Uh, and I'll pick either of the points would do. I, I picked P just because of alphabetical order. And I substitute it into our, our usual uh, equation, our usual formula for a plane. I do my arithmetic and this is the final result.